Marty Brenneman was behind the mic for the Reds for 45 years. From 1974 to 2019, I sat down with the Reds legend for a chat about the team, the controversy surrounding his son, his wife, and his new life. Had I known it was going to be as good as it's been, I'd have done it before I did it. Solid line drive single, right? 45 years of broadcasting Reds games. So Cincinnati that fans felt like they lost a friend when he walked away after the 2019 season. At 80 years old, Marty waited a while to say goodbye baseball, but he's enjoyed the heck out of these last three plus years. I've just had a wonderful time and uh, going to Ireland for two weeks and playing golf this past summer and, and going on a river cruise out of uh, Prague next June. And we just do a lot of cool things and, and uh, it's, I've, it's been thoroughly enjoyable for me. You could tell the guy's happy. Friends tell Marty he's a different person since he married Amanda a little more than 10 years ago. She's been a blessing to me. I, I, I don't know where I'd be without her. When she leaves home I, I, and goes away and periodically she'll take a trip with her sister, which she's on right now. And, and I, I, I just don't feel completely whole when I go to bed at night, when I wake up in the morning. Reds Live, the pregame show. Speaking of family, son Tom Brenneman was dismissed back in 2020 by the Reds and by Fox Network, where he called NFL games after he was caught on a hot mic using a gay slur. It's an incident that keeps Marty up at night. Well, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. Um, I, I, and I don't want people to think that I'm condoning what he said. I'm not doing that. And he, if he were sitting in this chair, he would say the same thing and has from day one. There have been other people who have said similar things that hardly got a slap in the, on the wrist. And for all intents and purposes, up to this point, his career has ended. I don't think it was handled well locally. I don't think it was handled well at the network level. Uh, the members of the gay community in this town, when it happened, would not have given him air in a jug if he were suffocating. And after they got to know him, and after he worked with them, he had a number of them that said, we'll do anything we can to help you get back in the business and get back on your feet again. Has suffered at the big league level. What about the current Reds coming off a 100 loss season? Bottom line in baseball these days, you have to spend money to be able to compete. You can talk about rebuilding all you want, but you have to have a couple of proven players. Is that frustrating to watch uh, as you're sitting in your seat now? There is no way in the world they're going to spend that kind of money. And the only hope they can, uh, they can hang on to is to develop young players and their system in abundance, some of whom will come up here and, and hopefully make this club a contending club, some of whom will be guys that will be packaged to be traded off to another club to get a veteran or a couple of veterans that they need to plug holes in elsewhere. And that takes time. I mean, I, I, I'm sure people realize if you're banking on this club to be an impact player in 2023, that's not going to happen. 2024, I think, is what they're shooting for. And if winning takes time and patience, then Marty Brenneman is winning. He's celebrating every single step on this new life path called retirement. And this one belongs to the Rats. And there it is. Wish we heard it a little bit more over the years. Uh, that, of course, that call after a victory. Another tidbit that Marty shared with me, the recent Chiefs game here in Cincinnati was the first Bengals game Marty had been to since 1975. He says he respects what the Brown family's done these last couple years, and he loves Joe Burrow, who doesn't. And he says, in his opinion, the Bengals are playing better football right now than any time in franchise 